Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 21 of Let's Play Dungeon Lords Steam Edition. We are... We just summoned some bats by accident. We're in Fargrove. Uh... And we're going to head south, I think, today and explore and see what we can find. Um, south of Fargrove, that is. And, uh, yeah. So let's get right into it. We played around with, I think, the class system last episode. episode. And um, I was thinking just now, before I played, I thought, well... Did I make a mistake by going Samurai? Because you get those bonuses of leveling up, I guess, in your points in the skill itself. So, like, say Celestial gives me a 10 bonus to Celestial Magic. So I should get, every time I put a point into it, I should get an extra 10 of those progress points. But I'm not sure if that's actually how it works. Um, but what I'm saying is, if I pick Samurai and go the melee route, <clears throat> I'm going to get no bonus for my magic. No continued bonus from the, the higher tier classes. <clears throat> so it kind of makes me wonder now, like, maybe I want to go Stargazer, which is the Celestial tier third, three class, or Shadow Lord is still a possibility. But, um... Rather than uh, Hadamoto, or whatever the third tier class is for Samurai Route. I don't know. Like, maybe the collective benefits of the Celestial's third tier class, which is... Or the Adept's third tier class, which is Stargazer. Maybe those added bonuses of Celestial Magic and stuff will be what I need to eventually fight the hardest enemies in the game. Or am I going to, quote unquote, um, what's a good word for it? Am I going to hinder my character by going a different route than what my skills actually are? I'm not really that much of a melee person, a bit, but we're mostly magic build. Um, well, I guess I can go either way because we have fighter and samurai. And we have Adepts and Celestial, so we're really a 50-50 mix at this point. But anyway, I'm just kind of rambling on about it. Uh, I don't know how we're going to divvy that up. The third class is going to be important. For however we end up going with our character. Aerogrim soldiers. I like that I can identify some items just by looking at them, like shields are easy to identify. Rhino, 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 rhino. Sounds like the beginning of One Winged Angel. Where are we? Oh, we're going east. Hmm. Some statues up ahead. Oh, and I realized why that elder trial was so hard. And it makes sense because we went to Ulm and died right after. We must not be high enough level even for the Elder Trial that we undertook. And that made me think, oh, so that was the first sign that, you know, we were ill-prepared to head to Ulm. But it, you didn't know that until you're all the way through the trial, pretty much. And in that last room... <clears throat> So, what are you going to do? Dang. 
Vicious wolves. Pretty tough. Rabid wolves, level 12. Dang. Oh, that lightning helped just then. Three thousand XP per. Dang. Lake Dire, Lake Dread. Fargrove. Lake Dire, Lake Dread. Oh, I don't have my Dungeon Lord tips open. What did we find here? Forbidden Lands. I guess Skulldoon is a is a town. Take South Road. In mountains of northern steppes far east of Fargo, we can find the wizard who helps with rune magic. Um, hmm. I, I mean, we're really just exploring. But South Road towards Lake Dread would be where we could find Skulldoon, I guess. And if it is a town, maybe we can find some new quests there. If we don't get in over our head by going this direction in terms of the enemies we can fight here. Oh boy. Demigoth lands, humans beware. Yeah, we're probably not prepared to go this way. Ooh. Level 16. Three bonus points. <clears throat> Three skill points. No spell. Huh. Oh, jeez. I tried to press six, and it wasn't ready. How about a shadow strike? How about a rune strike? Miss. Getting a ton of XP going this route, but I don't think this is where I want to be. Because if something stronger comes along than rapid wolves. It's not going to be good. I wouldn't mind exploring around a little bit.
let's head back to Fargrove and head towards Arendale. And uh, I guess we can try. We've gained three levels since trying Ulm. We can probably go ahead and try now. Although we didn't gain much gear and we actually lost a bit of armor. But... Oh, snakes. Not sure we'll find Skulldoon right now, whatever Skulldoon is. Could be in the demigoth lands and it could be an orcish or a goblin stronghold. <laughs> Your attack was short lived, my friend. Catapults. Oh. I don't even know why I'm picking these up. Ballistas. see much of a reason to go east just yet. And we should talk to the bar bartender at the Unicorn Inn to see if some details as to what like Skulldoon and other things are and if maybe I should write down like what we can actually find in these places that would certainly probably help certainly probably <laughs> I'm gonna let the thief live for now I am sparing you sir do not make me regret my decision Um Hold and be recognized. Hold and be recognized. I see you have official orders from Lord Davenmore. You have to stay out of trouble. You guys Welcome scared me again. Mm, demigods. The mightiest of men in their very presence strikes fear within their enemies. Always be kind to a demigod, I say. <clears throat> so demigoth lands. South Road out of Fargrove toward Lake Dread, mightiest of men. 
always be kind. Hmm. See, I thought I wrote stuff like that down. Oh, Harrow runes west of Lake Dread. One in Forbidden Land south of Skulldoon. So we could have did, done both of those down that way. Um, Forbidden Lands. You'll have to go to Skulldoon if you want to venture into Forbidden Lands. Skulldoon. See, I wrote that down, but it doesn't say towards until you reach what lake. Hmm. Right. See you again soon. <laughs> My bats are still here. Oh dear. Why they didn't follow me out here? I, I don't know. Um. Did we see what? No. What can I do for you regarding the woman seeking the yeah, we'll come back later. I thought maybe it was a um level-based thing. It seems to be a progress-based thing. I didn't check what the celestial order here had for us. Did I? Now that we're a celestial. Oh yeah, they gave me a quest. Good to see you again, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing really new. Anything for Rune? No. Alright, uh, let's sell some stuff, I guess. Doesn't matter who we sell this stuff to. guide you well be right back all right we're back um let's see here so i'm not sure where to go actually uh i guess we'll go ahead and do ohm now Or we could do the Good to see you again, my brother. We could do the um Lost Crystal Quest or the Crystal Quest, which would have us go all the way to the north lost lake up there where that shrine was on an island in the lost lake or yeah obey the law or we'll put if you see anything suspicious let me know um and then coming back through fargrove the streets are dangerous. To um, take the south road out and go to Skulldoon and all that. Or we could try for Ulm now. I say we try for Ulm. I have to come back here. I didn't think of this, but we have to get our gear repaired. I don't want to use my repair kits. They're limited.
limited and we need them to last all game. So I apologize for not amazing progress this episode. But I hope you guys still find it enjoyable to watch regardless. Let me check in with this house now that... We've done the Dragon Aid Egg quest. Nothing except trade. Oh, we don't have scale armor. We have... Hmm, they have some interesting things, though. Six to eight, sleep 10%, bleeding wounds 15%. Fumati Yari, we don't have polearm. Katana, two to eight, six foot, strike plus one. Ninja, we should check out the ninja gear, though. Ninja boots, armor plus three, parry plus one. Uh, armor plus three, parry plus one. First, let's get everything. Armor plus eight, parry plus three. This is just armor plus 21, but it gets damaged so quickly. Ninja pants, armor plus five, parry plus two. Yeah, we'll buy ninja pants. Armor plus three, parry plus one. Ninja black belt, armor three, strike one, parry two. Yes. Buy the ninja black belt. And the ninja boots. And the garb, ain't parry plus three. It's really increasing our parry. You know what? Sell. Wait. I'm buying the ninja garb too. Let me know if you need I'm putting it all on. Bong bong. Uh, getting those parry bonuses. But I'm going to keep this other stuff in case we need straight up. Welcome, young master. Uh, in case we need straight up uh, defense. Welcome, young master. Uh, let's sell that. That. <clears throat> and that's it. Mm, sell that and put that up there. Alright, cool. Only thing we don't have is the ninja gloves. Alright, do we want a sigh? No. Katana 2 to 8. No. Four to fourteen, range seven, strike and critical both plus three. That's crazy. Alright. So we're repaired up. Wearing our ninja gear. Very cool. Let's head out now. And I guess I'm going to head to... The first of the crystals. and be recognized hold and be recognized i guess in the enhanced version of this game they took away that hold and be recognized thing as hold having any any serious consequence i bet in the original you probably had to or be fined or something all right let's head we have to head Oof. 
That shrine was like over here. <laughs> Die, Jedi. No, that wasn't the Jedi. That was my lightsaber. Mini lightsaber. Elven shoulder guards. Only armor plus two. Well. Let's either do this quest or Ulm. What I'm thinking is we'll come up, hit this. This shrine. And then we'll go ahead and... Uh, curve on down to... Curve on down to, um, Arendelle, and then do Ulm. What was this way? I didn't explore up this way for some reason. Was this the Devil's Marsh? It was. I'm not going to bother with that just yet. Talendor Galdrin's Castle. That was a bit too difficult. Talendor. It's where we ran into those ants. Those tree ants. Oh, wow. Wow. Another crash. Uh. Dang. Why? We're not in our ninja gear? Or are we? Oh, we are. We're just right outside the town of Fargrove. Alright, well, let's hope it doesn't happen again. I'll learn to save often, eventually. <laughs> we should do our level up at some point. I'd like to put more points into scouting. I don't care about some bats. Alright, come on. Five XP. Shine a celestial light. Right. Wow. 
starting to do massive damage with that. I have the upper hand. The high ground. Ah, uh, poison me. So much for the high ground. Oh. Yo. Yeah, this was the Shrine of Celestial Light. Let's save after getting that mass of XP. Yeah. This ninja set. Hmm. Sorry if I'm not saying much, I'm just enjoying the exploration. Ah. This is what we found. Or Greymere, or yeah, was it Greymere? General Greymere. about his son yet. Chest there we already opened. Whoa! Okay. There goes my armor. Stunned. Wow, they're level nine. They're tough ones. Oh, I can barely damage these suckers. My arm is going to be rocked after this. These things are creepy looking too. I don't like them. Let's get some help. So, Lord Greymare. Great there. Greymare. Greymare. I'm 
gonna get a ton of XP here. Where's the rest of them? Going back up there? I don't think so. I want to check these guys. Remind me of swamp sharks. Um, the other one just disappeared. I must have already opened this chest. Maybe I can't open it while poisoned. I don't know. It's definitely safe after that brawl. Sneak up on me like that. Hmm. It's not marked as a chest on the map, so... It tells me that either we already opened it or something. Oh, I went the wrong way. I thought the water was up this way. It was just Lord Greymare. in today's episode, but that's okay. There will be more progress made in future. So if we curve around this mountain here, we should get to the water. Galdrin's Castle is that one that was in ruins up there in the waters to the north. Makes sense that we couldn't enter an item was required. Go this way, actually. bats are there? Easy XP, easy potions. Alright, just a mountain here. Up through here is the good stuff.
XP, 400 apiece. <clears throat> These celestial light areas are like polar opposite directions. of all buttons when the loading happens. Huh, where does this go? Is this Talandor? Ugh. Actually, it's better not to jump, it seems. Bong, 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 bong. Let's head this way. Ooh, little marshlands. I'm impressed. Is this the Devil's Marsh, I wonder? Some marshland. Ah, here we go again. Ants. <clears throat> and shrooms. Let's see how hard they are. Oh. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't mean to do that either. Okay, maybe we can actually handle this. We can at least kill the mushrooms. Oof. Get up. Ah. Okay, stop playing around. Level 14. Yeah, there's no taking them on. Let's just run. That needs an item required. Yeah, we are in Talandor. But I think going this way will take us right into Arendelle. Yep. So this is some good progressive exploration for sure. And that, those tree ants were the same encounter we couldn't handle last time. fog of war some of the that island right in front of us over here 
if we can. Let's go. I think right there is our shrine. The black dot on that map. No, that black dot is just that elevation there. That mound. jumping out of the water. This would be a good place to go down a bit. Not even worth stopping for. Okay, I think this island was our celestial light island, maybe? right yeah yes back here Is it? There it is. Isn't this the one? This is it. An island of Lost Lake. We're on Lost Lake and this is an island. Understand. Not saying item required or anything. We're on an 
desert island on the lost lake. You. Six K XP. Worm gun grain a leather belt. So I'm maybe willing to accept that this is not the right island. But if it's not, that's awfully like coincidental. Maybe we need levitation to get on top of this island. Huh. What is that? even go near this thing oh it's an ant in the water that's strange So I'm going to wrap this up here. I'm sure our episode time is about done here. <laughs> Go ahead and... Maybe, um... save in the water here and explore another island next time. Looks like there's something up there, but good luck getting to the top of that place. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this episode of somewhat some progress. Um... Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, hope you'll tune in next time as we're going to try and find this island. And wherever this thing may be, this shrine. <laughs> we'll save on dry land here. Um, no shrine here. Just two mounds of which... nothing to do with them. So, join me next time as we'll head off in this direction and clear some black area. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.